Hello, and welcome to another episode of Charmaine's Real Estate Chronicles, the podcast where we unravel the ins and outs of the housing market in the Toronto and surrounding areas to empower you with the knowledge needed for a successful real estate journey. I'm your host, Charmaine Goodridge, and I'm a trusted real estate agent with Barola Page. Today, we'll be discussing the crucial role of a home inspection in the home buying process. Ensuring that your potential new home is in good condition is crucial, and this is where a home inspection comes in. A home inspection is a thorough examination of the property's condition conducted by a professional inspector. This process can uncover issues that might not be visible to the untrained eye, such as structural problems, electrical issues, plumbing defects, and more. Without a home inspection, you risk buying a property with hidden problems that could end up costing you thousands of dollars in repairs. For example, an inspector might discover a cracked foundation, outdated wiring, or a leaking roof, issues that could be deal breakers or give you leverage in negotiating the price. Let's talk about what could go wrong if you decide to skip the home inspection. The most obvious risk is financial. Imagine moving into your dream home only to find out that the plumbing needs a complete overhaul or the roof needs immediate replacement. These unexpected repairs can quickly drain your savings and turn your dream home into a money pit. But it's not just about money. There are also safety concerns. Faulty wiring could be a fire hazard or mold hidden behind the walls could affect your health. By skipping the inspection, you're essentially buying the property as is, with no real understanding of what you're getting into. Sometimes sellers will have a pre-listing inspection done before putting their home on the market. This can be a good sign that the seller is being transparent and proactive about the condition of their home. When I sold the house I owned with my parents, I did a pre-listing inspection. The house was in very good condition, which I knew, but with this inspection, I was able to address some minor concerns that needed to be taken care of. The report had a summary page of all red items that required immediate attention. The inspection report should highlight items that do require immediate attention, and it's typically done in red. So I focused on these areas. All of them were fortunately very easy to fix. Railing missing on the staircase, two electrical outlets that needed replacing, a bathroom fan that needed to be properly installed, etc. All were very easy to fix. I was able to have the inspector come back when everything was fixed and update the report accordingly. I was very transparent with everything regarding this pre-listing inspection, which went a long way in helping with the sale of the house. In fact, the sellers didn't include the home inspection condition in their offer, part I'm sure due to my pre-listing inspection report and the fixes. That being said, should you rely solely on this pre-listing inspection? While a pre-listing inspection can provide valuable information, it is always a good idea to have your own inspection done. Some seller's inspections might not cover everything, and there could be a conflict of interest. Your own inspector works for you and will have your best interests in mind, ensuring a thorough and unbiased examination of the property. Let's move into reading a home inspection report. Now that you've done the inspection, the next step is understanding the home inspection report. These reports can be lengthy and detailed. So here are some tips on how to read one effectively. Start with the summary page. This section highlights the major issues found during the inspection. Pay close attention to these points as they often include the most critical and costly problems. Detailed findings. Go through the detailed sections to understand each issue. Look for items marked as safety hazards or major concerns. as These require immediate attention. The photographs. Inspectors typically include photos to illustrate their findings. These visuals can help you better understand the issues and their locations within the home. The recommendations. Inspectors usually provide recommendations for repairs or further evaluation by specialists. Take these seriously as they guide you on the next steps to address the issues found. Maintenance tips. 
Some reports also include maintenance tips for keeping the home in good condition. While these aren't immediate concerns, they can help you plan for future upkeep. Let's discuss what a home inspection is not for. A home inspection is not a guarantee of the property's future condition or a warranty against potential problems. Inspectors can only evaluate what is visible and accessible at the time of the inspection, meaning they can't predict issues that might arise later or uncover hidden defects within walls, underground, or in areas they cannot access. It is not an appraisal, so it does not determine the market value of the property. The focus is solely on the current physical condition of the home rather than its market worth. Moreover, a home inspection is not an exhaustive examination of every detail in the house. Inspectors follow standards of practice which outline what they are required to inspect, but this does not cover cosmetic flaws or minor issues that do not affect the function or safety of the home. It is also not a code compliance inspection. While inspectors may not code in violations, their primary role is not to ensure the home meets all local building codes. Finally, a home inspection is not a substitute for a specialized inspection. For instance, it does not replace the need for a separate evaluation by a structural engineer, a pest control expert, or HVAC specialist if more detailed analysis is required in these areas. Home buyers may need additional inspections based on the findings of the initial general inspection to fully understand the scope of certain issues. As we wrap up today's episode, let's review the key takeaways. Importance of home inspection. Ensures the home is in good condition and reveals hidden issues like structural problems, electrical faults, and plumbing defects. The risks of skipping include financial, unexpected repairs can be costly, safety, hidden hazards like faulty wiring or mold can be dangerous. Pre-listing inspections are helpful but not sufficient. Buyers should get their own inspection to avoid conflicts of interest and ensure thorough coverage. Reading the report, we've got the summary page which focuses on major issues. You've got the detailed findings, which helps you understand and address safety hazards and major concerns. Photographs, visually clarifying the issues. You've got the inspector's recommendations to follow repair suggestions and sometimes maintenance tips to plan for future upkeep. Then there's the limitations. It's not a future condition guarantee or warranty. Cannot uncover hidden or future issues. It doesn't determine market value or ensure code compliance and may require specialized inspections for specific areas. Remember, buying a home is one of the most significant decisions you'll ever make. So take your time, do your research, and trust your instincts. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this podcast valuable, please follow, subscribe, leave a review, and share Charmaine's Real Estate Chronicles with others contemplating the exciting journey of home ownership. You can also follow me on Facebook at Charmaine Goodridge Real Estate, on Instagram at char2427e, or visit my website, charmainegoodridge.royalapage.ca. Your path to successful home ownership is a unique chronicle, and I'm thrilled to guide you through every chapter.